welcome back to doing redneck things off grid. I, uh, I didn't even look to see what day it was. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm out here, been, been out here all afternoon in the bathhouse. Let me get back to you in a second and get this set up in the bathhouse so I can show you everything. All right, hang in there. All right, guys and gals, uh, well, welcome back to doing redneck things. Uh, I remember what day it was. It's Friday, March 15th. Red Friday for Remember Everybody Deployed. So let me show you what I did today. I've been out here all afternoon. The wind, the wind let up. Uh, Leanne's coming in, so get Lee, get get her in here. Oh, hey, come on in. Okay, you can shine the light for me. Okay. Start over here. Okay, I got the. Oops, here we go. I got the bus bars hooked up the, for the 48 volt. Okay, the positive goes into the positive, and the black goes into the negative. And then over here, I got the L, L1, L2, the neutral, and the ground hooked up, and I ran it into via wire into here, and I got the. Uh, the 50 amp fuse hooked up and ready to go. I still got a lot of work to do yet. I got to hook up two power receptacles. One one will be for the, the wash machine and the other one will be for outdoor for anything we need outdoors. So, and they, then I got that, that wire coming out there is going to go for the four prong plug that we have and so I'm get, we're getting we're getting close I got I still got a lot to do I still got to okay. get out of Leanne Leanne's here with me I gotta get where I can get some light in my head okay there we go no <laughs> spot there you go, smile, there in, you. in the spotlight anyway so anyway we got uh, that's what I got going so far I think I showed you guys before uh, what's going to happen with the batteries is we're going to go from that very end we're going to take the, the negative off and run it to the positive on that end so and then on this end we're going to take the positive off and run it to the negative on this end and then we're going to go all the way across over here and we're going to repeat the, the negative to the positive and then down here on this end that'll be the positive coming off and it'll go to that bus bar and then down here the negative off of this first battery will come up here and go to the negative bus bar and that's going to give me a 48 volt system. One of uh, my viewers told me how to do this. What what I got to do is when I come out when I come off here, this, I'll leave the black wire, but I'll t disconnect this red wire, and that's going to become uh, a separate battery post. Like if you were to do, you know, regular size batteries. Uh, that's going to go to the to the bus bar, and and that'll make things that'll turn that into a 48, and just by removing this one, and that'll be a series parallel. I believe that's how it is. It's a series parallel to make. Basically, we're turning these five batteries into one big battery. And hooking the four, the four battery arrays together to make a 48 volt system to run our Sun Gold power thing. Then after that, I got to hook up the the solar, and I have two MMP controllers in here, and I, I, I'm still still reading up on that. Not quite. I know I can run. Uh, the book shows that they have 10. 10 panels hooked up and I have 10 250 watts so I'm going to have 
2500 watts running into one one of these and at a later date we'll probably put more more into there to get us up to like 3000 3500 watts and this thing has got so many cool things I mean it's got a deal that you can hook up so that you can uh, Wi-Fi. Use your Wi-Fi on your phone and you can check check all the numbers on that. So that's where we're at where we're at right now. Um, yeah, I gotta edit some of these whoop de doo moments out of here. Alright, thanks for holding the light, Leanne. So oh hey, let me show you the book. The book the book is pretty pretty dang user friendly. I mean uh you know, I, I just pretty much had to, uh, if you can see there, you can't really see it because of the light, but it has the, the L1, L2, the neutral, and the ground, and that's pretty much how I hooked it, L1, L2, neutral, and the ground, and the battery is pretty self-explanatory. Um, neck, the next thing after I get the... Uh, after we get the uh, the power plugs in for the, the power receptacles, we'll be doing this. And it, it, the book shows pretty dang good, and it gives you, you know, uh, thing is, I still haven't figured out what this dry contact thing is yet. Uh, it really doesn't give you much information. And then uh, the ground, so I kind of... It's a, I guess it's a communication cable of some sort, so <laughs> it's kind of, <coughs> oh, excuse me, but that is our all-in-one solar charger, that is, we have the SP10, 48 volt SP, so I'm getting there, it's, uh, I'm not, you know, oh, Dang allergies, oh man. It's had an allergy attack. <coughs> so, pretty much this thing is, a, like I was saying, it's a, it's pretty user, friend, user friendly. There's a couple of things I don't know about and I might ask them about the, the dry contact thing. I'm not sure what that is. But it's kind of, this thing is going to be fabulous when we're done. I mean, I'm going to have 20 batteries. So i got four rows of five batteries. And that's going to turn into a 48-volt system. I'd be unlimited power. That's just crazy cool. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being patient. I, it, I'm, little by little, I'm getting this. The weather has been really sucky, and my allergies are just bad this year. And, uh... Little by little, I'm getting there, so the next thing I got to do is uh, probably have to do that in the dark is uh, rewire the two solar arrays so they're series parallel and to come into into the building to go into the Sun Gold power uh, converter. So, and then I got to disconnect uh, my con uh, inverter, the the my other inverter, the Midnight Classics, all got to come down, so all that, all of that wiring that you see, that you see there will come out. Also, I'm going to lose my wind generator, which is up there in the corner, and my gauge for that is up in the corner, if it unblurs, there you go, and that's a, a set up that G-Berry on me set up for my 400 watt ooh where'd it go there it is there it is my 400 watt uh, uh, wind generator so uh, it's uh it's kind of cool I mean sorry it's taking so long to get <coughs> dang it to get get this far as I know you guys have been waiting to see how it works and uh Sun Gold sent me an email. They want to use part of my video for uh, for their advertising on their on their channel or whatever that they're using. So 
and that's really cool. I mean, you know, it, it's it's pretty basic. You know, if you know a little bit about solar, you don't have to be a you know a licensed super electrician. I mean, I did it, and you know, I was like, it's pretty cool. So I still got to put the ground wire in too. I I got a ground rod uh, out there, out there, and then I'm gonna ground ground all this stuff to the ground. So it's because I got a place to come off for ground on the on the uh, on the uh, the inverter. So thanks for watching, everybody. God bless. Uh, see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I can get out here. Wasn't too bad today. The wind's only down to like three, four miles an hour, and being I was working indoors, uh, it, it 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 went pretty good. I just have problems when I get outside. If there's any kind of dust or stuff, it's pew, yeah, it just sets me off. So anyway, I got to unplug this battery real quick. Maybe I'm trying to do things one hand. So yeah, it's a. Uh, it's been a, a really cool product project. I've learned, you know, I've learned quite a bit. And I'm telling you guys, uh, get over and see G Bear. He's he's helped me unbelievable. With, you can pretty much ask him anything, and he'll he'll uh, he'll hook you up. So it's G Bear's off grid ways, a homestead in the desert, and uh, if uh, Sun Gold. The Sun Gold Lady, if you're watching this, get over and check G Bear out too. He wouldn't, he would, he wouldn't mind uh, doing some videos for you too. He's a lot better at it than I am. He's a he's like the all-around guy. He's just cool as heck. So anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, everybody deployed. Support your troops because they really need us. God bless everybody. Get out and meet your YouTube friends. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.